our live guest. A new business is coming to Greensboro that's combining classic fashion and classic cocktails. The Borough Market and Bar is set to open up come February and we are getting a sneak peek right here on the local vibe. We are joined now by Cam Hardy Kohler. She's the owner and creator of the Borough Market and Bar. Cam, great to have you. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. I did not wear my ugly Christmas sweater, unfortunately. <laughs> it's okay. We didn't either. <laughs> but I love your hat. You look fabulous. So tell me the inspiration behind opening this new business. Congratulations, first off. Thank you so much. Um, it's honestly a little bit of everything um, through my life. So I feel like when someone walks in here, you're going to see a little bit of my family, um, my past job experience, uh, having 10 years in the retail experience. I mean, in the retail world, a sense of a place of coziness and community. Um, I really wanted to create something that felt inclusive and inspiring when people would walk in my door. I love that. And tell me why Greensboro? Are you from there? What's your background? What do you love about Greensboro? Yes, um, I'm, I'm from here. I was born here. I went to high school in High Point, High Point Central, and then graduated from Elon. Awesome. Um, and my husband and I and our daughter um, moved back, or we live here, moved back here after. And I really, I think that the boutique scene hasn't really hit Greensboro, um, and like it has in Charlotte. And I'd love to be one of many that kind of help it get there. And I wanted to create something that, you know, my family and possibly my daughter's family when she gets older, or I'm pregnant, I'm, so maybe oh, this baby could take over one day. Um, but yeah, I just love Greensboro. And I believe in what they're trying to build here. Are you in your new space currently? I am. How beautiful. I see the fireplace and the kind of the, the bar to sip on some things and some goodies behind you. So how did you find and kind of establish your culture of the new space and how did you choose what brands and pieces you wanted inside? Um, so again, trying to kind of house my life experiences in one place. Um, a lot of the brands that we carry, so kind of how I chose them, uh, I really wanted them to line up with what my core values were. And so that's, you know, authenticity, humanity, connection, inclusivity, sustainability, um, passion, and so, or fair trade, organic. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. Um, and most of these brands give a very West Coast, Midwestern and European vibe. Um, nothing that is sold here other than the three local brands I have can be found within a hundred miles or more. Um, they're also top name brands like GG Pip, Faraday, Golden Goose, again, things that have a huge sustainability background. So everything from the life of it being uh, created all the way to the life of the wearer. Every single piece is, you know, people pay the amount they should be paid. Sustainability usage going in when it's being shipped to me or made. You know, um, we have all water safe jewelry. So when, if it gets wet or you get sweaty, it will not turn you or rust. Um, so I really tried to pick pieces that could be lifetime wares or things that could pass down to generations. Awesome, and I know you're opening in February, but do you kind of have some other future plans for what the space can be used for? Maybe special events, gatherings? I know you're probably dreaming up a lot of big things. <laughs> yes, and who knows? We might think of more by the time we're open. So we are doing this holiday market. I just want to pop on there and say, um, so I'm open right now, Wednesday, just for this small part, Wednesday to Saturday, nine to two. Um, that will be ending on December 23rd. So next Wednesday or Thursday will be our last day and then we'll close and then do a full open um, February 12th, the grand opening. Um, and yes, so this space, so eventually all of the mercantile retail will be in the other side. And then this will be a fully functioning bar. We will also have the sliding door back here. I don't know if you can see open and doing um, full menu from machete on certain days, as well as Sage Mule is going to be doing some of our breakfast food. So this can be housed as an event space if somebody wanted to rent it out for, you know, a holiday party or a Christmas party or a baby shower, you know, anything like that, as well as um, we have had some brands reach out to us to do photo shoots here. 
Um, and once we open in February, it won't have the same colors as the prior space that used to be here. Um, we haven't gotten to do any construction in this room yet since we're working out of it. So it will be a very fun, bright, cozy kind of feminine vibe. And that plays along with the name. So the Borough Market came from Borough in London, where I have spent some time, as well as Old Greensboro spelling and oh. over COVID. Awesome. You know, a lot of us started working from home and a burrow also is another word for home. So if you need to get away from laundry, <laughs> feel free to come work here. Fantastic. Cam, Cam, we really enjoyed having you on our show. Thank you so much for joining us. And I want to make sure folks know that the Borough Market and Bar opens up come February 2022. And if you missed anything from Cam, you can find more information. Follow along on this new innovative shopping experience. Just visit borougmarket.com.